Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to go over how to use the web graphing software Plotly. It's a little bit complicated at first, but once you get used to it, you'll see how powerful the software really is. Now, there's a number of ways to actually input data for the graph here. You could do something as simple as add data, and within your two columns, um, type in what data you received. And you can see in this method, it's a little bit tedious, but we can easily then create a plot line, create a line. We choose our x-axis and our y-axis, and we get a nice plot here. Another way of entering in data would be to simply click the Add Data button. And if you have your information already in a spreadsheet, now it looks a little funny right here, but let's just click on View Data. And we can see the two columns of information that came up from my spreadsheet. If I now click on Plot, again, Line Plot, x-axis versus the y-axis. Again, I get a nice, beautiful graph here. The third way that you can do it as well, let's start with a blank plot over here, is if you happen to have motion data software that's already taken, as I have in this software over here, you can see I've tracked the motion data and it pl and it plotted it within this table. I even have a graph ready here. But if I want to bring this information into Plotly, I will right-click, select all, right-click again, and copy. And whatever data I have, I can paste directly into Plotly. I just, just hit Control-V. You actually have two options for pasting your data in. You first can click up here and generate a data sheet. Click on the empty space, make sure you see a blinking cursor, and hit Control V. And all the data will automatically appear. Be sure not to right click and click paste, because if you do so, all the data goes into that one cell itself, which is not what you want. Another option for pasting in your data would be to hit Control V directly over the empty graph itself. And you can see my graph has now turned up beautifully. If I click on View Data, you'll see that all the data from the software before has now come into Plotly. But I do want to clean it up a little bit. I can see that, yes, this is my X location, so that's my X position. Over here, I have my time. And over here, I do have my Y position. So in the end, I don't want these first three columns here because they're going to throw off my data when I start doing some calculations with it. To get rid of it, click on Data. Over here, Rows is Delete Rows. I'll highlight these three rows and delete, okay? Uh, over here is the extra column that came in with the data, which I'm not using. And now I can go back to plotting this line. I can plot time versus the X position. You'll see the plot over here. But if I want to go back and actually take a look at my the best fit line for it, in this case, it looks like it's going to be an exponential curve. So I'll choose polynomial polynomial 2, and this will be x versus y, I'll click, and it will actually create a best fit line along with the line itself. So if I copy this line equation, I could put it onto my graph later, but right now let's plot my graph again. But this time when I do my line plot, I want to plot time versus my best fit line. So if I plot it out, you can see now it's going to be a smooth curve, and a smooth exponential curve. And I can click on style, click on annotate, 
and create a new annotation over here. I'm going to paste in my line equation, and you can see how it pastes beautifully over here. I'll move it a little bit. So ultimately, I have the graph of my motion on the x-axis along with the line equation itself. If you click on any point, you can see the matching points along the line. If I wanted to, I could also graph the time versus the original line and the Vesit line. It will graph it in two different colors, and you'll see a little legend over here. And if I wanted to, I could then annotate my graph again with the equation of the best fit line. Now that your graph is finished, you can click up top to enter title for the graph. In this case, I'd say exposition versus time graph. I can label my y-axis exposition to be in meters. Over here, I can label my x-axis to be time in seconds. And I have a completed graph. Once it's complete, you can save it. Make sure you're logged in under an account first. Uh, you can log in through Google, for example, and simply click Save. When you click on Save, if you click on My Data on the right-hand right side, it'll save your graph that you've created. You could also save a copy of it as a picture file, as a PDF file, or you could even click on the Share button, and when you share, it will provide you a link so that way anyone on the Internet can view your graph as well.